Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Chef Maha from Maha's Lebanese Cuisine. Today we are going to make Eid cookie, the holiday cookie. It's Ma'amul and Kakil Eid Kmej. For the Ma'amul, we need farina, semolina, yeast, butter, and for the stuffing, we need pistachios, walnut, dates, and little sugar, and we need rose water and orange plasma water. For this dough, you need two stages. The first stage is to mix the farina, the semolina, and the butter. You have to mix it overnight. The butter has to be melted. Not too hot. You don't want to burn the flour. And leave it overnight. The second day, you put, you add the yeast, and then you make the dough with the rose water and the plasma water. Now this is my dough. I make it yesterday. I just added the yeast to it. And you see the butter is a little dry so I'm gonna break them down I need a smooth dough just make it like that you don't need any big pieces it smells so good first I'm gonna add the yeast mix it a little bit and now I'm gonna add the rose water or and orange water Orange water is the mazahar and rose water is the mawart. And mix it little by little. Just make sure that it's all mixed together. And you see how smooth? Look. And to know if it needs more rose water and plasma water or not, just make it like that, make a small hole and see if it will cover because you are going to stuff it. So it's good, it doesn't need anything. So I'm gonna let it rest for 30 minutes. Make sure to cover it. You don't want it to get dry. So as we wait for the dough to rest, I'm gonna start with the stuffing. I'm gonna mix, I have here three cups of walnuts. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of sugar and I'm gonna put one tablespoon of rose water and one tablespoon orange water. You can tell the dough it doesn't have any sugar so if you are diabetic or watching for sugar or anything you can make the stuffing with a uh, sweetener and uh, put some like um, Splenda or Stevia on top of the um, Ma'amul so you can eat it like uh, diabetes uh, way. Now I'm gonna put it on the side and I'm gonna make the pistachio. The pistachio is the same thing. I have here two cups of pistachios. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon rose water and orange plasma water. One more rose water and one more teaspoon uh, orange plasma because I want it to stick to be sticky. I when I put it inside the dough, so I want it to stick together. But with this uh, cookie, you have to add little by little. You can't add too much at a time because you could ruin the, the whole recipe. This is the consistency that you need. So the date, you can get it already uh, chopped from the store or you can get the date yourself. Take the peel and just with the food processor, grind them yourself. It's easier and it's it's better in this way you can check to see if there is any any bad um, dates or anything you can tell if they are already mixed already uh, chopped so I'm gonna go and chop my dates and come back you get the dates already mixed or already uh, chopped from the store make sure that you open it like that you don't need any seeds or any like hard pieces in it just make sure go one by one so here I have two pounds of dates I'm gonna put 
one cup of butter but little by little I don't know how much it's gonna take because each date it takes uh, different if they are like very fine or they are ch chunks so I'm gonna be adding little by little and mix them by my hand and to get the nice smooth stuffing that we need if they are too hard just make sure to make them small pieces so you can mix them good with the butter see there is small pieces too even though I I clean them one by one the date absorb all the butter absorb them now our dates are done let me go wash my hands and I'll come back to start the, the cooking so now we have everything is ready the dates, the pistachios, walnuts and our dough is done I'm going to use this is traditional uh, cookie cutter I got it from back from Lebanon this is for the dates and this is for the walnut and this is for the pistachios if you don't have them you can use any uh, cookie cutter you have so it, you know because I'm gonna make them like balls and stick them here you'll see now I'm gonna go over the dough one more time mix it to make sure that there is like not space like dry and the other one is wet so I'm gonna mix it to be even all together I make them like this make a small well in the middle put the walnuts and just close it like that and press it press it good and you have this shape put it in the tray you don't need to put oil or butter in the bottom of the tray because they are buttery the dough is has a lot of butter Let's make some of the pistachios one. I use different uh, cutter just to separate the walnut from the pistachios. But if you want, you can do the same one and put them in different containers. Close it good. This is the pistachios. Okay, so let's make now some dates. Put as much as you want inside and close it. Make sure all the dates are covered. This is the date cookie sure to cook each kind of the cookie separate because the walnut and the pistachios take less time to cook than the uh, dates the dates you want it to be like golden color nice beautiful golden color the other one you need them like little white so because you are going to put like powder sugar in top so you don't want to cook it too much Okay, reheat your oven for 450 and then start baking the cookie. Now for the kakil Eid, we call it a ginger cookie or uh, yensun cookie or kakil Eid cookie. We need farina, all-purpose flour, sugar. We need baking powder, yeast, ginger, uh, anise, cardamom, cloves, galangale and mystica we need mahlab oil milk and for garnish we need rose, uh, sesame seeds and we need butter first you mix all the dry ingredients together the farina the flour the sugar the spices 
mix it all together and then you add the melted butter and the oil mix them good very very make the dough very 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 smooth and then you will add the milk and make it a nice thick dough like this i made that before because it needs like four hours to to rest so it's very easy to make this as a cookie i'm gonna use the same cookie cutter like the dates but now i'm gonna be using the sesame seed i'm gonna make a small bowl like this put it in the cookie cutter that's how you want it and you can use any cookie cutter you want you can finish all the dough uh, some people they like it with the sesame and some people they like it plain the kakel eid we call it kmej or kakel eid or yonsun, yonsun cookie or sesame seed cookie so uh, there is a lot of names but the taste is one <laughs> now we turn the oven to 450 and the bake your cookie until they are like gold nice color and uh, they will be done you see it's nice beautiful color not too too dark and this is the dates and this is our pistachios and now we sprinkle powdered sugar now you know how to make mamoul and kakil eid kmej thank you for watching me and i will see you next week bye